Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio for the month of November. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Um, although I'm reading for November, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. All right, so at the heart of the reading. Let's begin there. You have the card of justice. So um, I feel that this justice has to do with a past event because of the preacher who is representing the past. Um, it has to do with a past event that somebody did not budge on. Okay. It has to do with um, something that happened in the past and somebody feels heavily burdened by something in the past that they at the time refused to budge on. This person uh, is going to communicate with you at some point in the near future um, about a new beginning. They're going to communicate to you about why they ended things the way that they did and about why uh, it didn't move forward. Yeah. There was something at the time that that person wasn't seeing and they had to uh, return to the past to find it because of the preacher. See, the preacher is um it's like the inner therapist um it's having to retrace one step because the answer and the solution to the current problem could only be found or can only be found in the past depending where we are in the energy okay and for everyone that could be uh, different so In the past, there was an obstacle. And again, they're saying this person, it had to do with one's fears because the Nine of Swords is there. It had to do with past experiences, subconscious fears. And this person had to go and do the journey within about uh, this connection, about the obstacle and why the obstacle was there in the first place. And how to change and transform things with death, repeating here. This could be indicating that um, this is something that has been repeating between you or repeating uh, in this person's life. I feel like this person has, um, they have um, written... Uh, several messages to you and um, this is not the first time I'm feeling this energy for you okay I feel uh, that I've had this in previous readings um, this person uh, has been writing letters um, how they feel how they felt um, their confusion why they walked away. Um, they've been writing letters. It's all here. They're um, trying to explain how they felt, but they, it's like they write the letter and then they don't hit send or they don't send it. They're, they're changing their mind all the time, going back and forth. Um, this person is stuck in the past. Even it's like they might try to keep busy, but the mind will keep taking them back to the past. There's a burden they carry and it's something they have to deal with. It's something they have to change. 
This person has trust issues. And I, I, I feel like they, they run very deep. You don't know how many times they have been tempted to communicate with you. Okay? Many. Many. This person has an, uh, it's like, um, you see, they keep looking back to the past. Uh, they have an open book, uh, but they're unable to concentrate. Their mind is in the past. Um, they have a void and empty uh, place. And I, I feel like, I feel like it's like, I wish I could change things. You know, uh, I know now, uh, I know now from the past, it's like the past is wisdom for the future, but uh, can I get back what I've lost? Learning from our mistakes. Um, wanting another chance. And um, you see here, this, this, this is how they were feeling in the past. And there was a lot of anxiety. This person has a lot of anxiety, a lot of fears, but... Um, they could change that. This person has to, has to face their fears. And, and what they were very, very afraid about what was uh, real and what was false, what was actually in that cup, about taking a risk and uh, stepping into the unknown and, um, you know, uh, finding out later that somebody has lied to them. Um, afraid of effort for nothing. This is effort for nothing. But all of these fears that this person has can be traced back to the past. They may have several open wounds that, you know, that are keeping these fears alive. What we see here is a lot of fear and worry about the future with the future card here. It's uh, worrying over things, over imagined situations in the future that have not and may not uh, ever occur. It's overthinking things and worrying for nothing. And that's what they were doing in the past um, also. Um you are very important to this person. Um, I mean, uh, understand these energies can be vice versa, but like I'm reading it uh, one way. Uh, you're very important to this person. And I feel like um, they are developing a vision, um, looking for solutions for change. Well, I feel that they are this... Either they have accomplished this or this is something they're, they're currently doing, going back to the past to find their answers, to find the solution, to change the future. It's based on the lessons of the past. But, you know, um, to, to get the lesson from the past, you can't, bury the pain or, 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 or the fears, you, you need to, you know, you need to face, face these things and heal the wounds and recognize why you carry the wound, where it came from, and who you were when you believed it to be true and who you are now. So the vision is about uh, something that you really, really want to change because you know you need to, because you know you can no longer continue this way, because somebody is very, very important to you, you know, or to them. And maybe with the glove, they've been covering up a lot of things. It could also be with the glove um, 
that they are going to make a play or make a move. Um, it's like getting the, the feel or the fit uh, of something. So here we have in the future, we see that this is uh, in the process of happening here. Um, this is a card of seeking somebody's understanding, their compassion, cooperation, forgiveness. And we do have forgiveness here in judgment. The Six of Swords, it's been like a, a really uh, rocky journey. It felt like this ship was sinking, but it's almost like you bring it back. Uh, you bring it back, bring it back to life. Take it out of these stormy waters. It's um, moving away from very challenging energy. Um, this could have been how dark their thoughts were in their thoughts because it's swords, you know, and, and in, in their thoughts, uh, they, they had this, this ship, this relationship as they saw it as sinking, as full of challenges. It could also be very challenging for this person to make this decision and come forward and to face their fears. But come forward, they do. They will make that choice. We have the offer here in the nine of love. Um, yes, they are still afraid, but the heart will win out in the end. And um, there is a new beginning and an offer for a new beginning coming in, in your future. Now, um, this could happen in the period, uh, it could happen like within a year, but I, it's not going to be that long. Um, it could happen as soon as one month but it could also go out to um, um, like December, January. I, I keep getting like the uh, period or timing of Capricorn. So, I, you know, I'm going to say December, January. So, um, this person has had a lot to deal with. This person has had to do the journey and make the journey back. I feel like they carried a lot of emotional baggage and uh, a lot of open wounds that were uh, hidden. The solutions, the answers that they needed were and are in the past. So... That is what I have for you. This person is coming around to change things. Why? Because they know that they need to. Facing these fears. I thank you for watching, for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.